Ay de mí, llorona, 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 tú eres mi chunca. Ay de mí, llorona, 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 tú eres mi chunca. So I'm playing the song Yorona because it's a song that I kind of grew up with, that was kind of given to me by my father. It's sort of a ghost story, and it's always captured my imagination. Um, and I love corridos and Mexican folk songs that have these passionate stories, like jammed into like four little quick lines, and it's always captured my imagination. And Yorona is this sort of mythic figure, and I like that songs get to be sort of legendary, specifically folk songs. Llorona, 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 tú eres mi chunca. Ay, de mi llorona, 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 tú eres mi chunca. Especially as a songwriter and with Chicanx identity, I think a lot about Selena, this idea that you can sing a song that belongs to your family, but if you didn't grow up speaking Spanish, you know, music translates everything. As a songwriter, I like that if I don't know how I'm feeling about something, I could write it in Spanish, and it makes more sense to me sometimes. Or sometimes I write it in English, or sometimes when I put it together, it just feels more truthful. Um, as a theater artist, it is very intentional for me that when I work with students or I'm assigning repertory in musical theater, there, are no, there aren't a lot of Spanish lyrics I get to give them. So it's definitely, I'm intentionally feeling a void. On the other side of things, it's like a beautiful language and when we sing it, it sounds gorgeous. So why not just like engage and celebrate? Like when Despacito comes on, like no one's like, mm, I'm bummed about this song. It, it, it's uh, music has the power to cross borders and connect people. And I want to do that with my lyrics. I really think that when you're writing a song with someone, if, if it's like the best, it's like the best day or it's like that aha moment, right? It's almost impossible to know who came up with what or who sang what first, or it, it's kind of like, like building a baby or some sort of monster with someone. And I love that delicious moment where it just clicks. Shoot for the Moon kind of came about because um, my collaborator and I, John Michael Lyles, um, were in Harlem and we were both really obsessed with this playwright, Federico Garcia Lorca. And we knew that he lived like down the street from where we were and attended Columbia in 1929. And all we knew is that he never went to class. And um, we were sort of inspired to sort of like kind of create a piece that's like, oh, what if he, what if he fell in love, you know? And, and at the height of the Harlem Renaissance, um, what kind of queer love stories exist around us at all times, but don't get told. We really wanted to see what um, a queer interracial romance like looks like but in the 1920s, like what obstacles would be there. It's inspired by um, the plays of Garcia Lorca, which, you know, though tragic, were sort of getting at, um, it was called duende, this word that sort of means irrational passion. And I think we're trying to figure out what does it mean to have Lorca's duende uh, become almost present in almost a traditional musical, kind of like a, vintage musical that centers queer people. I love working with another songwriter because it really ups your game. And also working with an artist I believe in so much. Like, and we have been friends since like freshman year dorms. Like we met when we were 18, he was from Texas, I was from Kansas, and we just naturally loved writing songs together. And it's something that um, has been a joy to work on with him and, and, and getting to sort of blend Spanish and show tunes together is something that I thought would be really cool to do, and especially with him. But also as someone that writes my own music, my own lyrics separately um, from other people, there are some stories that it feels like something that's mine or that's my own personal history or my own family's history. He may disappear in the dark, Felipe, el fantasma, and leave you to bear his mark, Felipe, El Fantasma. He'll talk of travels and triumphs. So inspired by um, the folk song Llorona, I sort of was like, mm, like what does a ghost story mean to me? Or <laughs> kind of inspired by my dating life at the time, I sort of wanted to kind of create like a queer corrido. And what I love about corridos is that 
they sort of um, inhabit the personal histories of the singer or speak to the lifestyle of the singer. And so this is sort of my um, interpretation or adaptation of um, the Yorona folk song. What good is my bed now? I only see red now. What good is my bed now? I, I can only see red now.